Hello, 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 good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective again with Ira. Yes, we are coming to you late tonight. My fault. Yeah, we're out on putting green, I mean, driving range. Exactly. Well, anyway, so, <laughs> so, want to talk to you about because, well, just because, want to mention to you about um, the title of this perspective is Love Them, Don't Smother Them. And Ira, do you want to expound on that? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm a guest. I know, but I'm, you're my guest interviewer, so I'm asking you the question. Love them, but don't smother them. What does it mean? Yes. To me. Love you, but give you a space. I mean, I love you, but I don't have to be under you all the time. I don't want to be under you all the time. I like missing you. You don't want to... Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no that, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And I think that's important. I think that leaves and gives some health to a marriage. The, the space. Um, and you know, we can overdo anything. If you do everything on your own and I do everything on my own, then there's nothing drawing us. True. And I think we, I think honestly, if we be honest, we've, we've had patches in our marriage where we were mm -hmm. doing our own thing. Okay. You know, where we were doing our own thing and it's just, that's not the way to, to make it and keep it and grow it into a healthy marriage. So thank you for all who are joining us tonight. Um, yeah, I, I think that was one of the things I always really appreciated about you. When we were going, we what? 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 Okay, <laughs> well, when we were both active duty and you know, he would have a Marine Corps birthday ball to attend and I would have one. I really always enjoyed that if he was at my unit, I didn't have to like babysit him or, oh, my husband is on his own and I need That's to be right. with him. I, I never have had to do that. And That's I appreciate right. that because that, right, that would not work <laughs> very well for me. <laughs> that would not work very well for me. It goes back to the beginning though. When you're meeting someone, the dating process being equally yoked. I mean, knowing each other's likes and dislikes and and uh, by dating like that, you, you you learn about each other, and you're able to to see. Well, you know, this person she she needs lots of maintenance. Right? Okay, that's yep, that's a good point. Or he is high maintenance, and because I don't yes. do high maintenance, I'm not mm -hmm. a high maintenance kind no, of. No, she's not. <laughs> Ready to go in five. <laughs> that's true. As is. <laughs> No, I know how to dress up if I need to. If she needs to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's good to know. <laughs> it's good. Hey, Sister Rowe, it's really good to know that. Well, I just need to go. No. <laughs> that, you know, I can love you. I can appreciate you. I can want to be with you, but I don't need to be with you every day, all day. Absolutely correct. We need our breathing space and. and yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and okay. Anything else you want to say this evening? She's very simplistic. <laughs> okay, well you can get up off me now. You okay, sorry. You right, you don't. <laughs> but I'm saying I I like that. Yeah, I mean I can say, hey baby, let's go to the store. Uh, have you seen my makeup brush or my? Sw <laughs> she jumped, jumped, put her shoes on, and I would like a yeah, little more preparation you myself, but. <laughs> You're making that sound bad. She requires no preparation. Was ready, to, but that's a beautiful face. But she's ready to go on a minute's notice. Okay. Okay. I need to have a talk with Iris. No so rollers in the hair. <laughs> Eyeliner. No. No okay. lipstick. Okay. Look, I know I don't even have a lipstick on tonight. But listen, <laughs> um, I need to talk to him about that because he has put me out on Front Street. Sorry. Okay. You just all night tonight. Sorry. <laughs> but you. You don't need makeup. You know, you're beautiful. I mean, we're talking about love them, don't smoke. My them. point, though, I'm just saying that I know your personality. I know you. If I say, "Hey, baby, do you want to go do this?" Sure, you're ready to go. You don't have to do t uh, uh, three hours of preparation, and you believe in being on time. I, 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 I know your personality. That's that's all I'm saying. I mean, that's being equally yoked, knowing each other, and and then by us knowing each other, I know how much of me and how much of you I can take. Okay, that's a good. Point. That's all I'm saying. That's a good point. Yeah. I am pretty likable, though. 
I mean, sometimes you, you like to, we, we all like to be spontaneous. Hey, let's catch this 7 o'clock movie, and it's 6.30. Most women can't get ready. That's not enough time. You got to put on your war paint, put on your hair. Okay. Cool. Now, <laughs> okay, so look, just, just keep that in mind. Love them, don't smother them. He taught me this, and I, I agree with it. When he first met, he said, look, I, what? No, not that. Um, I didn't just start breathing when I met you, which means, you know, we had a life before each other, and we're going to keep on living. We'll, we'll do, it, do this thing together, but, yeah, breathing room is a good thing. My ear is always dirty, my nose is always dirty around these guys. They dig in my nose all the time. Like, what? They don't know what you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> you're talking about me and the girls. Okay, <laughs> until next time, take real good care. Ira has agreed to come back sporadically. <laughs> like when I ask really, really nicely, he'll come back. <laughs>